it says you're live. Guys, it's Gavin Syme here, coming to you live from Central Mexico. I'm down here in Takiski, Japan. I thought I'd actually do this stream uh, again. There's a cool little store. I'm kind of thirsty. I, uh, you know what? Let's do that. Uh, I'm gonna, I wanna redo this stream though, because uh, earlier I streamed and I wanted to show you guys some things and talk a little bit about the differences that we see between Mexico and Assassinados, Happy Quentin, uh, EMB, Chris, guys, uh, Mark, thanks guys. Uh, so this is kind of a repeat of the stream earlier, but of course they're all different, but I noticed that I accidentally hooked it up to the Bluetooth and the sound was terrible. But imagine a nation, and imagine a nation that pays police, that pays police to round up dogs that don't have special licenses and take them to cages and then kill them, right? And then that same nation hires police to go and round up people for mistreating dogs and also put them in cages, okay? That's, that's the United States of America. Think about the hypocrisy of that. You're actually paying people, one, one cop you're paying to kill dogs and hurt dogs, and another cop you're paying to put people in jail who kill or hurt dogs. Now, let's contrast this, and I was hoping there'd be a dog down here, uh, but uh, this here, we're in Takiski, Japan. There was some dogs here earlier. Maybe I'll put one in the poster image. And uh, the stream I just did earlier was kind of terrible. Instead of paying, we're in Takiski, Japan, Mexico, and instead of paying uh, the police to uh, take dogs to jail and kill them, the community is spending their money to put up these little pipes. Look at these, they got a pipe here with water and with food for the homeless dogs, all right? So this is a contrast of the whole uh, mindset, how the whole mindset here is different. Guys, even dogs have more freedom in Mexico. And this is something I've mentioned before. Uh, the dogs are much more chill. Uh, dogs that are homeless just roam the streets and do their thing and beg for food and whatever, right? And the fact is, like, you don't worry if you see a dog on the street because the community wouldn't allow a dog who was like biting people. I mean, you always watch if there's a group of dogs, right? But even the dogs have more freedom and because of that, they're more friendly and more neighborly and more chill, all right? But check this out. This is, this is the dog feeder on the street and these are around town uh, in this town. The community put these up. So instead of Imagine this. Imagine like a, an actual society that thinks for themselves that says, let's use common sense to address a problem instead of using government. All right. Let's spend our money to feed the, the homeless pets on the street so that they have a little bit of uh, contentment as well. Let's use that money to feed them instead of using that money to pay blue ISIS thugs to kill them for us. Think about the difference in the mental mindset. I want people, I hope people will really stop and think about that. Because that's kind of significant. And so while, while people in the USA pretend that they're just and, and, and compassionate and they, they, they love people and they love animals, and they, they, meanwhile, they're literally paying the police officers who, who roam their streets and any dog that doesn't have a tag Thanks, Oregon. Appreciate it. Uh, they'll uh, they'll haul away to the dog pokey, and if nobody bails them out, they'll kill that dog. So, what does this what does this mean, right? People say, "Oh, Mexico is a terrible third world country." No, actually, the USA is a third world country. Now, does Mexico have have problems? Is there corruption? Sure, but the real third world you can measure a nation's status by the justice that it has. The USA is a third world nation and so as we walk the street and people are just doing their thing and uh making tacos oh those look good Hola. looks muy rico i'm gonna have to come back for one of those and sell in their desserts Hola, buenas tardes. and just doing their thing right double parking on the street while they get a taco because no one cares and they're not going to get a ticket for it uh 
all this stuff that we see there's a little hardware store all this stuff we see and so while while you're paying in the united states while you're electing new fascists from the left party or the right party and while you're paying police officers to murder your children and your dogs and heck they don't even have to be on the street if if there's a lack of dogs on the street the police will come in and kill your dogs in your living room there's churros we should grab some churros guys uh and so here's a hustling bustling society that's doing its thing. Oh, there's one of those dogs. There's one of those one of those dogs. Hola, Pedro. He's probably on his way to get some of the food. We'll head back down there, see if he's heading down to get some of that food. Es comida, ya. Yeah. So uh, that's how they roll. Just chilling here. Okay, guys. I just wanted. To, I like showing you kind of the streets of uh, Mako and uh, the shops and what's going on. Hola, cuánto? Quince. Quince. Sí, está bien. Uno, por favor. Basic is being uh, simple, <laughs> simple. That's it for the sun. So I got me some churros for 75 cents. Now, here's the thing. If you live in the United States and you try to just be like a, 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 a lady setting up uh, some baked goods and selling them on a street corner uh, without a permit, you will get fined and arrested, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that, that is the reality of the differences that I've showed you over and over and over again. And then I'm trying to, you know, help you guys see and spread the word because you need to know, right? I understand that everybody's in a different place. We can't all walk away, but we should know when to get out. And one thing you should know, one thing you should know is that you don't have to live as a slave and we need to know when we live in a fascist society. Is there dumb regulations? Is there is there problems? Is there corruption? Yeah. In fact, a lot of that is directly sponsored by the United States, okay? That Pero just walked by there, got a snack, and moved on. Look, the street dog wasn't even hungry because the locals are taking care of him. So, hola, buenas tardes. So that's, uh, that's what it looks like down here, guys. Okay, so do your homework. See what it's really like down here. Everything is, is just more simple. It's just more simple. It's not, it's not a big deal to, to run from a cop who's trying to extort you, whereas in the States, you, you get murdered. Think about the guy, the, the incident that people are talking about uh, today, this week, where those cops shot that man because he had a gun on his belt. And they're all saying, oh, he went for the gun, he went for the gun. Guess what? He had every right to go for that gun, even though... He didn't, as far as I could tell. But he had every right to go for that gun. Those psychopaths were assaulting, trying to kidnap, and pointing their guns. He had a right to defend himself. If those cops had shot that man like that on video in Mexico, they would already be charged with murder. End of story. And as so all the as all as all the blue ISIS sycophants make excuses and say he deserved it and say the faction I don't like deserves to be in prison and the protesters I don't like should be run over, as all these mentally ill slaves and fascists try to wave their flags and pretend this is freedom. The rest of the world goes on. Some places have more freedom, some places have less. No places that I know of have perfect freedom, but they are certainly better off. And when, when the police murder people on the road here in Mexico, they don't get away with it. That's why cops don't kill people on the roadside here. Uh, you could probably count on one hand in a year the amount of times that happened the way it does in the United States because if they do they go to jail and they're charged with murder in fact there was an incident that happened the one w police shooting I know that happened earlier this year within a week the cops were charged with murder for shooting the person the, the rest of the world and their police and their people are just are not psychopaths. They don't think like moronic slaves that bow down to the state and anyone who resists the state. There's tons of account guys. I've met Canadians, old Canadian dudes in RVs who were talking about who were talking about cops messing with them so they just ran away. And then they were going to police chase with the RV and the cops chasing them and finally the cops caught them and the federalities pulled them over and they're like, "Well, he was trying to get a bribe." And the cops are like, "Fine, go on your way." Whereas in the states, they will shoot you, they will imprison you, okay? You need to understand these differences. If you live in the USA, you do need to understand that you live in a fascist state and you obey or you die. And that's that's 
an admission, that's a recognition that you need to make. That's why I left the USA, because I wasn't willing, because I wasn't willing to submit to an illegal court. I wasn't willing to continue living as a complete slave every day of my life. I wasn't willing to bow before psychopathic blue ISIS thugs like Pat Kennedy and the Grant County Sheriff and the Grant County Courts and the Washington State Patrol. I don't want to live that way and I don't want my children to live that way. And sometimes, sometimes we have to have the courage to say no more, come what may, and to be willing to say, I'm going to search for something better. So it's not just about the cops killing your dogs and the fact that down here people put out food. You wouldn't even be able allowed to put out food for the dogs like that in the USA unless you had some special agreement with the government. Understand the differences. Understand what slavery looks like in our for-profit prisons and as our government locks away people who actually defend freedom like Schaefer Cox and Jeff Winehouse as they railroad people like Leonard Peltier and Red Fawn there's still, there's still actual law and actual justice. And these fake thugs, these fake law thugs, they are not authorities. They do not deserve your obedience and they do not deserve your respect. Let's give them the due process that they denied us. All right, guys, I hope this, this stream came across a little clearer than the one I did earlier uh, because my mic was messed up earlier. You guys stay safe. Thanks for your support. Uh, I know it's been a little while since I live streamed till today. I've kind of been a little bit under the weather. Uh, on and off, some days are better than others. Life's not perfect, but uh, I keep pressing on and uh, I appreciate you guys. Big shout out to our Patreon supporters. And thank you guys, thank you. Thank you for your support and your kind comments in here. And, and I got some interesting stories to tell you. The trolls are still attacking, the loyalists are attacking, trying their best to get me put in prison. But uh, uh, I, plan, I plan to stay free. All right guys, peace, love your neighbor, stand up, resist Blue ISIS.